guys keep watching my annual videos on whether Windows 7 is still usable or not. So I'm going to keep making them. Without further ado, is Windows 7 still usable in 2023 or not? Let's find out. Well, first of all, let's test Google Chrome just to see how well it runs on Windows 7. And just a big note is that it's going to lose support in February. So it will no longer get update C as you just noted me. Yeah, I'll probably have to upgrade this computer to Windows 10 or 11 at some point. Or, or dual boot it probably so yeah without further ado let's just test out some of the basic sites like let's test out the largest one why is my keyboard not working let me connect my keyboard hang on okay, so now that it's working again i can check keyboard is working i can test google.com the largest website in the world to see how that loads okay this is very slow What is going on? This is very abnormal. You put this computer. Okay, there we go. Now it loaded. No thanks. I'm not interested in soccer. No thanks. I don't want to sign in right now. Or it locked me out. Oh my gosh. Let's go to YouTube now to see how fast that loads. This is slower though. To be fair, the hard drive in this computer is dying, so... That could be another reason for it. Oh my gosh, this is so slow. Okay, Chrome is slow, let's get out of there. Okay, let's test Firefox which again, is going to be losing Windows 7 support in June. This time, or not again, but it's gonna be losing support. Okay, let's go to google.com. This is not my favorite web browser. So I do, I'm not really a big fan of Firefox though. I know a lot of people use it, so. Okay, it's being a little slow, though not as bad. Okay, let's test out YouTube now. I'm not interested in soccer, Google. Oh my gosh, this is slow. It's slow, but it's not as slow. Okay, let's search up my own YouTube channel now. The iTunes Fanboy. Let's just search it. Did it just... just stopped for some reason. No, no. The iTunes A. Hey, it's fanboy. The iTunes fanboy. There we go. That is my YouTube channel. And let's just try playing my most popular video using Windows 7 in 2021, which I actually made this video back in late 2020, just like my I made mean, this video in late 2022. No, I don't want a free trial of YouTube TV. Let's see how this is gonna load. Oh my gosh, this is so slow. Yes, you can see my face. Oh my gosh, that's low quality. Okay. That right here, that's my old voice before I hit puberty, just FYI, so. Okay, I'm trying 1080p now, because why not? Could be my internet, to be fair, my internet isn't great, though this computer doesn't exactly like it because this is actually having to run off of a an external Wi-Fi adapter because, of course, Windows 7 doesn't like to recognize my modern Wi-Fi router. Even though even Mac, 
even Mac OS versions as old as Leopard, Mac Leopard, which is two years older, and Windows 7 can recognize my wife. Okay, that's not gonna play. Is it just Google's websites? Let me try apple.com. Is this Google or is this Windows? Okay, this is Windows 7 web browsers. Let's get out of there, okay. Will Microsoft Edge be able to run Microsoft's own, in my opinion, best operating system? It's actually turning into a bit of a challenge. Get you my Windows grid. I've never used Edge before, so. Accept and get started. Continue. Okay. Google.com. Okay, this is unsurprisingly slow. Ooh, there's actually, I don't, you guys can't see that. But if you look, if I zoom out, no, you can't see that, okay. But there's a warning symbol now on the Wi Fi. Oh, ooh, this is not looking good. Ooh. I'm not connected. Okay, it's trying to load. Wanna play a game while I wait? Yes, please. Yes. Oh my gosh, I don't usually like Edge, but this is genius. It's actually pretty cool. Full screen. Okay, Google.com isn't gonna load. Yep, it's not gonna load, okay. Well, our next explorer be the one to load, be able to load properly. And by the way, Edge, have already, Edge has already lost support and obviously our next explorer is no longer supported. Okay, this is very slow. Okay, this could again be due to the old certificates because the internet is just fine on other devices. This isn't working, very unsurprisingly. Okay, and for other critical software like Microsoft Office and Steam, they've already dropped support for Windows 7. However, I use Mac OS in the main operating system, so I don't know about Windows software, so you might want to check that yourself. Uh, if you're still using Windows 7 for some reason, which this is more of a nostalgic people for video for most people because most people even haven't even touched Windows 7 in quite a while. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at some cool nostalgic stuff of Windows 7. First up, the start menu. Look at this. This is so classic. We go to all programs right here. Let's just look and see what's, what's there. Ooh, obviously some of this stuff is just basic. Movie Maker, Windows Live Mail, Windows DB. When was the last time you saw any of this? I mean, seriously, okay. Window, Windows Live Messenger right here is pretty nostalgic though. Let's launch the Movie Maker. See what it does. Okay, I don't have any footage, so I can't actually edit anything. Just, uh, hopefully that UI gives you some nostalgia, though. Windows Live Messenger right here, that's pretty nostalgic, too. Okay, I need my email. Okay, 
If you guys need to sign in, I can't. If you guys actually want to see me actually try to make a video about any of these old Windows 7 apps, I actually love to. Window, oh boy, Windows Media Center. Yes, please. Oh yeah. This is kind of like front row, except for, except for me, except, except on Windows. Okay, this is like the Windows 7 Entertainment Pack, which I actually need to look at next. This is actually a bit different, okay. Move the ace there. I don't have time to play solitaire, so I'll just get out of there. Pictures and videos. Picture library, I'm not going to go in there because I don't know what photos and videos are on this computer because this is my old family computer. Music, actually, I, just want, I do want to point out how this actually does come with some music. This is all when this is all real music too. Like you can actually listen to this stuff on Spot on Spotify and whatnot. As my dad and I took a look at this a couple of years ago to see movies. Now there aren't gonna be any movies here. Actually, that's probably copyrighted. Okay, we can't do, so I can't show that, though. Windows Media Player, oh yeah, look at this classic. That probably is copyright if I play it for any longer, but look at this classic UI. You can, in Windows 10, you can actually still look, look at the old classic window Windows Media Player like that, the Media Center no longer exists. And the last thing I wanted to take a look at in this video about Windows 7 is the really cool, is the really cool themes. So let's go to Control Panel, change the theme, and I also wanted to take a look at the wallpapers on this. Like, obviously you have this classic Windows 7 theme that I have enabled just for the sake of this video with the arrow theme and whatnot. However, Windows Classic is one that I love so much because it's so cool. Like, look at, look at this. I actually had this enabled the other day. Wow, look at how cool it looks. I don't keep this on very long though. If I go to change desktop background, okay, I need to change the theme. Change desktop background and look at all the, look at all this cool, these cool wolf papers. Like I could easily enable any of these. This is one of my favorites. Uh, oh, this this wallpaper is actually one of my favorites. I can change. You can even change the color of the taskbar too, just like in Windows 10. Though, oh yeah, this is such a good wallpaper, especially in the winter time. And this is especially relevant to the winter time when I see lots of of hay bales out to feed the cow cows around my area. And well, yeah, let's get getting back on topic. Uh, this has been Windows 7 in 2023. Should you use it? Obviously not. If, you, uh, if you're still using Windows 7 for whatever reason, upgrade to Windows 11. Or if you hate Windows 11 or hate Windows 10, then I suggest you should probably go to Mac, switch to Mac OS or Chrome OS like I have done because I hate Windows 10 and 11 so much. I'm not a biggest fan of Windows 7 either because even though Windows 7 is the best version of Windows, it's still very buggy. Though... Yeah. As always, I'm the iTunes fanboy, and peace out.